Yeah, I'm Don Amaro, and I'm a singer-songwriter from Winnipeg, Manitoba. And you uh, grew up around the, the Point Douglas kind of North End area? Or? Yeah, for pretty much as long as I can remember. Um, kind of had about six different places that we lived at. And kind of my parents were kind of these constant nomadic Point Douglas movers. They were okay. always moving around. And, and uh, um, yeah, kind of lived there my whole life. So what was your, what are your memories growing up in that area of the city? I, uh, I mean, obviously there are a bunch of different thoughts about the Point Douglas area. And for me, I think I saw it all, you know, in a sense, like I, I remember being a kid and just enjoying all the experiences and, and uh, uh, you know, occasionally here and there having the, uh, the run in with a few bad apples here and there. But you know me, I was just one of those kind of guys that always tried to do the right thing and my parents, you know, hmm. must have raised me right. So was music always part of your life? And when did you start playing guitar? Yeah, well, I, I started playing guitar and performing all around the same time, writing, 15 years old. And, okay. and uh, it all started because of a girl in high school. And, uh, and I auditioned for the school play. And I, I only auditioned because I wanted her to notice me up there. And I thought I was terrible. And I was like, OK, here it goes. So I just figured, here I am in front of the room. She's going to notice me singing the song. And so I got up there, and I sang uh, uh, Oklahoma uh, from the play Oklahoma. And I was, so I was auditioning for the lead role. And, Lo and behold, I got the lead role. I finished, my, I finished singing and, and the teacher's like crying and, and, and then three girls in the front row are like in tears and I'm like, was it that bad? Like, and, uh, and, and I got the lead role and, and it, uh, it kind of launched me on into the, so it was a crush on a girl that got me started. So, so was there a time where you said, okay, that's it, I'm gonna leave the day job yeah. and I'm gonna jump in over my head? When was that? Almost exactly two years ago, I was doing hardwood floor installation and every day I was miserable and I was getting more and more miserable as the days went on and the boss, you know, he comes up to me and says, what's wrong with you? You're dragging your feet, you know? And, and I just said, I, you know, I can't do this anymore. And he says, well, what do, what do you want to do? And I said, well, you know, I've always wanted to be a musician. And, and he said, well, you're good enough. You should just do it. And, and this is my boss telling me, just then quit and go do it, you know? And, hmm. and, uh, and he's been one of my biggest supporters actually since I left. So you've, you've been nominated for some awards? Yeah, yeah, a nine time, Aboriginal People's Choice Music Award nominee. Okay. Nine time loser as well, but. <laughs> <laughs> but it's an honor. Just well, to be. Absolutely. Well, you know, this, it was just uh, uh, very recently, and uh, um, Buffy St. Marie took folk acoustic album of the year, okay. and Crystal Shawanda took entertainer of the year. And I figured if I'm going to lose to anybody right. in this, if it's going to be Buffy St. Marie and Crystal Shawanda, you know, by right. all means, it's an honor to be for me just to be in that same category. Right. As them. Earlier this year, uh, you were part of uh, CBC Canada Live recording that happened in Point Douglas. Yeah, yeah. yeah? What was that like coming back? And it was really kind of cool because actually that was one of the. I grew up right on Grove Street, um, which is you know literally two blocks from that park. And and you know I remember being a, a eight year old kid or probably a bit younger and running over to that park and and one day sort of sneaking away from home and going to play in that park and my dad with his big work boots coming to kick my butt all the way home because <laughs> we snuck off and so I mean that particular place that very very park I played in kind of flooded me back with all these memories of that place and um, on the other hand too is it's a bit of a uh, um, I don't know what you want to call it like a, like a, a rite of passage as an artist mm. and as, a, as a kid that grew up here all of a sudden now I'm a man coming right. back to my, my roots and coming back to my old stomping ground so to say right. and uh, uh, just being able to play that was such a cool experience and having having that be kind of a, a, the thing you know for me as an artist was looking back and looking down the road and going I lived there as a little kid and it was pretty pretty surreal for me. For See sure. yourself in the eyes of a, a couple little, little bit, kids a that little are out in the crowd sure. running around. Yeah. Sure. Snuck off to hear your concert. Yeah I saw some guy's dad coming yeah. to kick his butt home. But, uh, <laughs>